When a prominent conservative political action committee's president allegedly met with a white supremacist, it shook up the core of the Republican Party in Texas. A line in the sand was drawn with House Speaker Dade Phelan becoming one of the most vocal Republicans denouncing the meeting and calling on elected officials who received money from that PAC to give that money away. There is clearly ideological tension inside the Republican Party. Torn between two sides, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said two weeks ago, I see no reason to return $3 million he had received from the PAC just before Ken Paxton's impeachment trial. In an about face this week, though, Patrick says he's buying $3 million in Israeli bonds. Without directly connecting the two, that investment seems to be his way of returning the PAC's money. Patrick writes every Republican group in the state, no matter how small or how large, including our state party, needs to root out this cancer. This particular incident has really inflamed that ideological division. And, you know, it just amplifies you know, other divisions that, that we've talked about. It amplifies the personal conflict between the speaker and the lieutenant governor. Speaker Phelan writing in a statement shortly afterward, if we are to root out this cancer, as Lieutenant Governor Patrick states, those efforts begin with Matt Rinaldi's resignation as the chairman of the Republican Party of Texas. Rinaldi, who's campaigned against Phelan for months, responded on social media, writing, Dade Phelan should focus on passing school choice for all Texans and border security legislation instead of continuing to engage in the backstabbing of Republicans. That line in the sand, dividing Texas Republicans, doesn't seem to be going anywhere. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.